All right. Hello, everybody. Travis Chandler, Chandler Gaming, back with the next episode of Mass Effect 2. Um, last episode, we went and got the... We went and looked for the Warlord. We ended up not getting him. And so we ended up, um, getting his package, and we woke up his package. Grunt. And then we went to Horizon, where the Collectors hit another uh, human colony, which was Horizon, and we saw Ashley Williams. So now, we're going to go around and talk to everyone, because now they're feeling a bit on edge. Shepard, how can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Some other time. About to test new bioweapon. Not on us, of course. Didn't think I had to specify, but Joker got nervous. Anything else? I'll let you work. We'll be here if you need me. I thought maybe I, we did. Maybe not. Okay. We will go talk to Grunt, though, because I forgot to go get his upgrade. Yeah, we'll go talk to Grunt first, and then we'll go up to the cabin and feed our fish. Grunt's upgrade is a shotgun. A Krogan only shotgun, so only he can use this shotgun. So, hell yeah. And it's pretty decent for him, too. Uh oh. Did this freeze? Oh, there it goes. Huh, why'd it take so long, I wonder? Who knows? Probably the EA server. The only thing I don't like about this setup with uh, PC games nowadays, I don't like that you have to run them through the apps, and it's all dependent on how their apps work. Anything in your tank imprints that can make use of the resources we found? Hmm, might have something I could put together. Don't know how useful it will be. Okay. The Krogan shotgun. He gets a Claymore heavy shotgun. Hell yeah, we'll take it. Shepard. Just checking in, making sure you're acclimatizing. The hold is too open. Not enough cover. Armor is limited. Warlord Granth would target here to scatter heavy cargo, then focus on engines. That's what tank imprints show about human ships, anyway. It's how I learned from the tank. Old pictures where memory is. Like holding a book for a child. Just remember this picture after picture. No help with finding a reason to care. What other human info was floating around in there? Less than a finger deep to sever your spine. You're soft. Salarian, Sasari, all soft. Quarians, not so much. Turians, you have to work the blade, I guess. Don't see much point to it, though. <laughs> much point. <laughs> uh, never mind. Something must move you. You're as genetically Krogan as you can get. I see suffering, the dead, and I think weak. I'm supposed to be strong. My guts were grown from thousands more worthy. The dead were weak. If they were strong, I wouldn't be needed. I don't know why Okir started teaching. When he turned on the tank the first time, I screamed. Weak. Pitiful. So you started small, but you became what you are. Not everyone gets that chance. I'm built for strength, but didn't earn it. I just am. Those dead were strong enough to try, even if they lost. The perfect Krogan, ignoring what made me. No strength in that. I'll take another look at what happened to the Krogan. Find a reason to care about it. 
All right. Now, go up and feed the fishies. And you know what? Well, I, I better get my team ready. Incoming message from Admiral Stephen Hackett, Alliance HQ. Oh, we get this. So why call me? Just this morning I received word that the Batarians arrested her. They're holding her in a secret prison outpost on terrorism charges. I need you to infiltrate the prison and get her out of there. As a favor to me, I'm asking you to go in alone. I'll make this a priority. The prison is hidden underground at a Batarian outpost in Aratat. I'll upload the coordinates now. Once she's secure, confirm her discovery. We'll debrief you when you're back. Got it. Hack it out. Okay, so we're gonna do that. Um, we're gonna do that favor. We're gonna do that solid for Admiral Hackett. We're gonna do that right now. Did I feed the fish? Because I think I may not. I did. Okay. Just to make sure I did. Okay. We'll talk to Kelly, and then we'll see about um, dealing with. Hackett's problem. I saw the reports on Horizon, Commander. What you did was amazing. The report mentioned that Ashley Williams was there. How did that go? It was good to see her. Do you have strong feelings for her? We had a job to do and we did it. I understand. Anyway, how may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Operative Lawson would like to see you at her station on the crew deck. Operative Taylor would like to see you over in the armory. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. Take care. Okay. So the elusive man said, Oh, uh, I see you brought in Grunt. You see you opened it. But be careful with him. That's what he was saying. Um, one of the um, colonists from Horizons like, Oh... Uh, get my family back from the collectors and then Cerberus um, sent us some information about the Shadow Broker that uh, they think Liara is going to be interested in which we'll find her in Il Ilium so first we need to go down and talk to Miranda and then come back up talk to Jacob and then we'll go deal with um, Hackett Solid and then we'll the solid for Hackett, and then um, we'll see where things go from there. Alright, there we go. Shepard, I find myself in the unpleasant position of asking for your help. I don't like discussing personal matters. But this is important. Miranda, you're one of my crew. Tell me what's on your mind. You remember what I told you about Father? Building a dynasty? There was another reason I went to Cerberus for protection. I have a sister. A twin. And he's still hunting her. Cerberus has kept her safe. Until now. She's living a normal life on Ilium. Safe and hidden from my father. So you think your father has tracked her down? Precisely, Commander. My sources indicate he knows that she's on Ilium. I've tried to keep her hidden without impacting her life, but I'm out of options. He's too close. I need to relocate my sister's family before it's too late. What do you need me to do? My father is extremely persistent. I'd like to go to Ilium when Cerberus is moving the family to make sure none of his agents get too close. My contact's name is Lantea. She'll be waiting for us in the lounge near the Nurse Astra docking bay. Okay. So we'll open up that mission. We'll open up Jacob's mission. And then, like I said, we'll do the one that Hackett just 
told us about. Because I need money more than anything right now. And getting the loyalties really helped with money too, so... Commander, sorry I'm a little unfocused. Personal matter. It won't affect my duties. The Yeoman said you wanted to see me. What's this about, Jacob? As I said, it's a personal matter. I don't want to waste our time if it turns out to be a goose chase. But... Well, I got pinged by a ghost the other night. Family. I'm listening. My private log got an update about the Hugo Gerns back. The ship my father served on. It sent an SOS last week, reporting a crash and requesting a rescue. Shepard, that ship went missing ten years ago. I hadn't talked to my father for three years before that. I've buried everything but a body. Now, I'm not convinced it isn't just some automated distress signal ticking over. It's been too long. I think you'd be more excited that your father might be alive. He wasn't around enough for me to have bad memories. It's an old, well-healed wound. But if he's actually alive and needs help... I also want to note that it's not normal procedure for distress calls to be routed to the Normandy. This was passed to my personal log through Cerberus filters. I think we can spare the time. Pass the coordinates to Joker. I appreciate that, Commander. I don't expect more than dusty old bones, but... Full of green dust! The record. Dusty old bones, full of green dust! <laughs> Alright. Who remembers that from King of the Hill? Alright, so we're gonna do... Mr. Stephen Hackett's... job. But first I want to explore these planets just to... I need to see how much... Oh, I need platinum badly. I need platinum badly. Oh, it doesn't have a... That... that sucks. That's okay. We'll land here, and we'll see about getting this done. This is a DLC. Um, it's called The Arrival. Okay. We'll leave that alone. We're going to change to the U. Okay. Now we need to MGS this shit. They've seen us. must send their prisoners down here to die. I have to find Dr. Kenson now. Okay. Don't waste your ammo on the Varen. You can take them out with a couple of melee hits. Scared me. I was not expecting him. <laughs> Get your hands off me.
All right. Well, I want to try to sneak through here and cut all the sensors' powers and all that, so... Boom. What's down here? You are... I believe we didn't turn that one off. Okay. up here Here we go. It's been a while since I've done this, so you kind of got to bear with me here. I don't want to kill the guards because that'll draw attention. But maybe that is the way to go. I'm I'm not sure, but Okay, fuck it. They've already caught me, so fuck it. I've already gotten the achievement for doing this without being caught, so... I mean, it's really hard to do, and... I just don't have the patience for it. I just don't. And... Okay, where the fuck do I go? Where the fuck do I go? This is where I get mad at these new age fucking games. There's so much shit you do in these fucking games. And you can never figure out where the fuck to go. I mean, you have no idea how confusing this is. Unless you've played this, you have no fucking clue. Relay can't be damaged, much less destroyed. Those humans will do anything to destroy, I swear. We have to make this one an example to the others. We can't respond kindly to terrorists.
an artifact found in that asteroid belt. And the humans got it. They did. They swarmed in and put flags all over. This might be useful. Thank you. Keep the reinforcements from coming down easily. I'm Commander Shepard. I'm here to get you out. Commander Shepard? I'd heard you were alive. Hackett must have received my message. We're not safe here. Can you walk? I'm fine. Just give me a moment. We have to go. Now. If we can find a console, I can hack security. Make us an escape pod. Then we'll find him. Go. Ready. Open the locker. Oh. Okay. All right. Oh, is this the one where... Yeah, so I see which one this one is. Okay. Yeah, 
get. What I hate about this, they're not giving you a chance to fucking hide from these assholes. They get covered and you don't. We need to close the door we came in through. Keep them out. They're coming through that door in the back. Lock it down. Well, I... Move, 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 move. They're coming up from below. Other side, go. Well, uh, I'm the one taking fire, you stupid bitch. See, this is what pisses me off about these New Age games. They know this isn't possible to do with just one character, but yet they expect you to do it. I can hear them, but I don't see them. Thank you. Get down. There's an elevator that leads up to the hangar. I'll bring it down to us. Almost done. That did it. Let's move. All right. Get over here, damn it. Oh, one last thing. The hangar doors are hard locked. We'll have to get those open the old fashioned way. Leave that to me. They're here. Okay, I'm not in a good spot. I am not in a good spot. I am not in a good spot. This is what they tell you to do, and they tell you to do it. Well, how the fuck are you supposed to do it if they don't give you a goddamn clue how to do it?
Jesus Christ! Autopilot. We should be well out of range before they get their security measures unscrambled. Do you think they'll come after you? I'm not taking any chances. Batarians don't take kindly to humans who plan to destroy their mass relays. So the charges against you are true? Well, to be fair, that's about half the story. My people and I were here investigating rumors of Reaper technology out in the fringes of this system. I guess you found something. We found proof that the Reapers will be arriving in this system. When they get here, they'll use its mass relay to travel throughout the galaxy. We call it the Alpha Relay. From here, the Reapers can invade anywhere in the galaxy. So you decided to destroy it? Exactly. Doing that would stop the Reapers' invasion. Even at FTL speeds, it'd be months or years before they got to the next relay. We came up with what we just called the Project. A plan to launch a nearby asteroid into the relay and destroy it before the Reapers could arrive. Of course, the resulting explosion would probably wipe out the system. I've always heard that mass relays are indestructible. I've heard that too. But I think it's more that nobody's willing to find out what happens when one is destroyed. And, well, we plan to slam a small planet into the thing at very high speed. By our calculations, that's more than enough. I still don't see how you learned about this supposed invasion. The evidence came from what we call Object Row, a Reaper artifact we discovered among the asteroids near the relay itself. When we get back to Arcturus Station, I'll explain everything and provide copies of all our notes on the artifact. The stakes are too high. If you were willing to destroy a whole system over this, I want to see your proof. I guess I can't argue with that. Give me a moment. Kenson to Project Base. Affirmative. And I've got Commander Shepard with me. Tidy up the lab. The Commander needs to confirm the artifact. All set. Just sit back and relax. We'll be there in no time. Here we are. Welcome to Project Base. What's this? That's our countdown to arrival. When that gets to zero, the Reapers will have come. Just over two days and counting. Puts things in perspective, doesn't it? You're saying the Reapers could be at Earth in two days? There's no time to waste. Then let's show you that proof. That door exits the hangar. The artifact is in our central lab area. We'll take that. We'll take those. Go through the door at the end of that corridor to your left. So what would it take to get the project back up and running? Everything was in place when we were arrested. It wasn't a question of could we, but should we? What alternative do we have? The Reapers will reach this system regardless. But the Alpha Relay is their shortcut to the rest of the galaxy. If you want to keep the Reapers at bay, this relay must be destroyed. 
Yeah, that's what you say, but what's actually true is a different story. We have to get the project running again. It's probably the only chance we have. One sec. Let me get the door. Commander Shepard, I give you Object Row. You have the Reaper artifact just sitting here? Out in the open? When we found it, it showed me a vision of the Reaper's arrival. Kensu, this is not good. Give it a moment, Shepard. It'll give you the proof you need. You start the project, Shepard. I can't let you stop the arrival. Take him down. We've been spotted. Let's go. Okay, you don't have to win this. Down, Shepard! Shit! I may not win this, so... Because like I said, it's been a long time since I've done this. And this is meant for you to lose. But you all burn instead. They've seen it. Activate the heavy max. Patience. It's only a matter of time. Struggle as you wish. Your mind will be mine. All right, that heavy mech's got to go down quick. Get down, Shepard. There we go, we got it. I'm surprised I made that, but I did.
take him to the med bay and patch him up. We want Shepard alive. That is an achievement in itself, getting that um, five wave attack like that. Like Shepard was waking up a moment ago. But it could be a glitch in the system. <sighs> No glitch. The sedatives aren't working. Security! There we go. We got our up weapons and armor back. I have to get this asteroid moving and get the hell out of here. Okay. Oh, we're getting in there, damn it. For how much the first part of this pissed me off, we're getting in there, you know? Fucking flashbangs. Give me those mech parts. Damn right, we're tearing them apart. Get in there. <laughs> Whenever you see a pyro like that, you use overload on them. So you can blow them up. You don't fuck with them. Get down, Shepard. Get. Didn't I see a...
That's not. Yeah. Where's the research log? They say there's a research log, but where the fuck is it? Again, this is what I don't like about these modern fucking games. They have so much shit in them that when something pops up, you can never find it. Well, fuck it. It's not important enough. I'm not looking for it. I'm not running around like a fucking idiot. We've been spotted. See, that's what you think. There. Yeah, burn her ass. Blow your ass up. Assholes. Oh, how the fuck is this fair? Asshole, die. Welcome to Project Control. I want to activate the project. Warning. Activating the project will result in an estimated 305,000 casualties. Do you wish to continue? Shepard to Normandy. Joker, I need a pickup. Now. Commander, we're getting all interference. We can't maintain it. Shepard, no. Do you have any idea what you've done? You leave me no choice. If we can't stop this asteroid, it must be destroyed. Tell me where to find Dr. Amanda Kenson. Dr. Kenson is traveling to the reactor core module. An ESO core meltdown should do it. Because of you, everyone on this rock will be obliterated. Not if I get to you first. Really? 
You're gonna gang rape me? Why do they even put st I don't get it. Don't try to stop me, Shepard. I have to do this. Stop now, kids. Hackett's friend or not, I will kill you. You're forcing my hand, Shepard. You know that. There is no escape. There's no redemption for what you've done. I will die, never having seen the Reaper's blessings. And you will just die. Damn it, kids. They've seen it. Shepard is trapped. Keep him in there. I mean, look at this horse shit. You only get a little bit of fucking cover while they get everything. How do I stabilize the reactor core? All automatic safety protocols have been overwritten. To stabilize the reactor core, manually insert cooling rod A from this control station. Manually insert cooling rod B from control station B. Doing so will stabilize the reactor core. Cooling rod A reinserted. Reactor cooling process has begun. I need more time. Get in there. God, I forgot how much this DLC pisses me off. I, I really, I've forgotten how much this one pisses me off.
We've been spotted. Okay. Boom. We got them both. Or I thought I did. There's the PDA. Go shit. Reactor temperature approaching critical. Yeah. Uh, you're just easier to take down. Fucker. Don't worry, we're going to. Step away from the reactor. You've ruined everything. I can't hear the whispers anymore. Turn around. Now. You've taken them away from me. I will never see the Reaper's arrival. All you have to do is... Joker, this is Shepard. I need a pickup. Now. Communication system damaged. Damn it. Evacuation protocols in effect. All personnel report to escape shuttles. Where can I find an escape shuttle? Take the lift from this room to the external access. From there, proceed to the communications tower. The remaining escape shuttles will be located on the tower's landing pad. I have to get to that comm tower and take a shuttle. It's my only chance.
really you can't jump over the stupid thing you get that's so stupid this should come in handy that I didn't even know that was here didn't know this was either Power cells, hell yeah. Okay, we need to... You motherfuckers! Getting tired of fighting you assholes. External comm channel open. Shepard to Normandy. Joker, do you read me? Shepard, you have become an annoyance. You fight against inevitability, dust struggling against cosmic winds. This seems a victory to you, a star system sacrificed. But even now, your greatest civilizations are doomed to fall. Your leaders will beg to be harvested. Yes, people will die. Maybe we'll lose half the galaxy, maybe more. But I will do whatever it takes to rid the galaxy of the Reaper threat. However insignificant we might be. We will fight, we will sacrifice, and we will find a way. That's what humans do. Know this as you die in vain. Your time will come. Your species will fall. Prepare yourselves for the arrival. So here's what happens when a mass relay is destroyed.
So we take off using it, and then in comes the meteor to destroy it. Your asteroid to destroy it. Finally, we made made it through that. That was fucking horrible. Hey, Hackett's here himself. Huh. Looks like you've recovered. Admiral Hackett. Sounds like you went through hell down there. How are you feeling? Fine. No more visions, if that's what you mean. I wasn't expecting to see you here. You went out there as a favor to me. I decided to debrief you in person. That was before the mass relay exploded and destroyed an entire Batarian system. What the hell happened out there, Commander? I confirmed Dr. Kenson's proof. The Reapers were coming, and destroying that relay was the only way to stop them. Kenson sedated me for almost two days. I started the engines with little more than an hour left. There's nothing else I could do. And you believe the Reaper invasion really was a threat? No doubt about it. We literally had minutes to spare. I'm sure all the details are in your report. I won't lie to you, Shepard. The Batarians will want blood, and there's just enough evidence for a witch hunt. And we don't want war with the Batarians. Not with the Collectors out there taking our colonists. What are you saying? You did what you did for the best of reasons, but... There were more than 300,000 Batarians in that system. All dead. They died to save trillions of lives. If I could have saved them, you bet your ass I would have. You're preaching to the choir, Commander. If it were up to me, I'd give you a damn medal. Unfortunately... Not everyone will see it that way. So what do you suggest? Evidence against you is shoddy at best. But at some point, you'll have to go to Earth and face the music. I can't stop it. But I can and will make them fight for it. Thank you, Admiral. Do whatever you have to do out here. But when Earth calls, you make sure you're there with your dress blues on, ready to take the hit. In the meantime, you keep this. I don't need to see a report to know you did the right thing. Yes, sir. You've done a hell of a thing, Commander. But we got some upgrades, we got everything from that. I'm so fucking glad that's over. I again I forgot how much that one pisses me off. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. I mean Jesus Christ, that shouldn't be as hard as it is. We'll take that. We'll take that. All right. And that's going to be it for this episode. So, you know, I mean, I hope you all enjoyed seeing me rage on it. I mean, you know, I'm going to leave the rage in because, I mean, I'd rather you get a legit reaction than anything, you know. So anyway, I'll see you all in the next episode.